Today I want to show you how to simulate a serge stitch with your home machine. I realize not all of you have a serger or an overlock machine at home, and if you don't want to spend a couple of hundred dollars yet to invest in one, I completely understand, but I would recommend it if you want to continue making your own clothes at home. A serge stitch is a two needle stitch with a covered edge. So it prevents fraying while washing and it's just a more durable stitch to have for the longevity of your garments. It's also quite thin, so it's only a quarter inch, which allows your garment to drape a lot better because it doesn't have a lot of seam allowance on the inside of the garment. This is the serger or overlock machine that I use to sew all of my garments. It's actually my grandmother's machine from the 1970s, so it's quite special to me. The thing that's great about a serger or an overlock machine is that it has a knife to cut the edge of the seam off so it finishes clean. There's double needles here, so the stitch is actually reinforced and it's a lot sturdier than a single needle stitch is. So let me show you what this looks like. has a handy little knife cutter at the back and you have a beautiful double needle stitch that your edge will not fray. We can simulate one on our home machine by doing a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch to cover the edge. You can also cut this seam down by half to simulate a lesser width stitch, just like the serge. So let me show you. So I'm going to sew a half an inch seam allowance, straight seam all the way down. Now we'll just do a zigzag stitch on the edge so that when we wash it, uh, it won't fray. So if you want to do a modified serge stitch on your home sewing machine, this is the type of stitch that you're going to use. Make sure you like and subscribe below to catch all the new sewing tutorials I've got coming your way.